Welcome to this video on Writing Standard 3.1. We will discuss narrative writing. We will be covering the core standards in writing. Write narratives to develop real or imagined experiences or events using effective technique, well-chosen details, and well-structured event sequences. Engage and orient the reader by setting out a problem, situation, or observation, establishing one or multiple points of view, and introducing a narrator and or characters. Create a smooth progression of experience or events. We will be covering the following. Identifying the features of narrative paragraphs. Writing a narrative paragraph or composition effectively. You've been writing for quite some time now. You're able to put a sentence together and get your point across and are able to communicate via the written word. The skills you learn in this session should help you improve your writing skills. Narrative writing tells a story. It relates a series of events which may be either true or imaginary. A narrative relates a chronological se series of events from a single point of view. It is used to tell a complete story. Everything is told from a single point of view. The main idea is usually stated at the beginning of a narrative paper, leading the reader to expect a story of some kind, setting the scene and providing necessary background information. If the narrative is meant to illustrate some lesson or truth, the main idea, which generally explains the lesson or truth, may be found at the end instead. The main idea statement usually establishes the point of view or narrator. The following explains the different kinds of narrators that can be used. First person. The narrator, using the word I, tells the story as he or she saw it and participates in the action. The I may either be the actual writer or a character in the story. The narrator who is not in the story tells the story using pronouns she or he. The narrator makes only factual observations and does not see into the characters' minds. Omniscient third person. The narrator, who is not in the story, tells in the story and can see into the minds of the character. The narrator can see into the minds of the characters and tell their thoughts. The point of view helps determine the kind of supporting information used to develop the story. An experience related through the eyes of a first person participant would be quite different from one related by a limited or by limited third person observer who can report only physical appearances and action. The supporting information is usually arranged in a straight chronological order. Occasionally, however, a writer may vary this order by establishing the endpoint or result of the experience and then narrating the events that led up to it. In planning, writing, and revising narratives, focus on the order of events. In narrative writing, concentrate on presenting a clear sequence of events. When you've decided on a basic story, select a point of view. A first-person narrator, for example, might be best for a story about a personal experience. Write the main idea that either sets the scene or focuses on some general truth or principle. Then decide which specific events and details should be included. When you draft your narrative, concentrate on making the story real to the reader. Link sentences with transitions and other devices to connect the events in the story. Keep language as specific as possible, using strong verbs, precise nouns, and lively adjectives. As you revise, you should ask someone familiar with the experience you are relating to and read your narrative to them and tell you what he or she saw, felt, or thought as it unfolded. Reread the story yourself, trying to approach it as if you were an outsider coming across the writing in a magazine or book. Look closely at the language in the story. How graphic is the language? Can it be made livelier, more real, and more specific? Do your sentences seem connected to one another? Fiction writers use these techniques frequently. The next time you pick up a book, pay attention to how the writer uses narratives and orients the reader. Check your understanding by doing this exercise. Pause the video if necessary. 
choose one of the general experiences listed on the next page, or think of a topic of your own and follow these instructions to write a narrative paragraph. What are narratives? Narrative writing tells a story. It relates a series of events which may be either true or imaginary. How do we tell a story in writing? A narrative relates a chronological series of events from a single point of view. It is used to tell a complete story. Everything is told from a single point of view. As a student, you're expected to write narratives and engage and orient the reader by setting out a problem, situation, or observation, establishing one or more points of view, and introducing a narrator and or characters, creating a smooth progression of experiences or events. We've come to the end of our session. We have discussed narrative writing, understanding narratives, telling a story in writing, point of view, first person, limited third person, omniscient, writing process, pre-writing, writing, revising. By the end of this session, you should know or be able to do the following. Identify the features of narrative paragraphs. Write a narrative paragraph or composition effectively. This information should help improve your composition skills. Good luck with your writing.